Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial. So in this uh, video we are going to talk about GitHub Actions. So this will be a, a good tutorial for you. So if you are new to uh, GitHub Action, this will be a very interesting tutorial and you can learn a lot of uh, from this. So we are starting this uh, series. So in this tutorial we will start with the basics of GitHub Actions like uh, we'll talk about what is GitHub Actions you know we'll talk about the different components of github actions like uh, workflows you know events job runners you know different kind of things which we have to you know configure and when we write the code in the github actions and we'll also see a sample uh, github action ci cd pipeline so i will show you like you know what are the uh, you know the overall ci cd pipeline how i run it and what you know the overall workflow how it works what are the different kind of jobs and everything we will see more about you know all these uh, you know, pipelines for github app uh, actions in the next tutorial like how we can create our own different kind of github actions workflows so but this will be a basics uh, for it, you to get started so if you don't know all these components it will be tough for you to start github action you may be not aware like what is github action so uh, you know focus on this tutorial first then we will get started into the next one in the upcoming tutorial okay so as i mentioned in uh, this one we will start with what is github actions so you you know like a ci cd right continuous integration and continuous delivery and wh what we use is like we you will be using like jenkins or like GitLab CI or different other kind of uh, CI CD platforms, right? Uh, similar to that, GitHub Action is also a continuous integration and continuous delivery platform that will allow you to build, test, and deployment of you know of your pipeline. Okay, so uh, how we do this, all these things, it will come at the end of this tutorial. Like what all the components we are going to talk about this, so that you know when we create the GitHub actions you know the pipeline you know uh, what how you can create the jobs how you can write your actions you know how what is an event in it all those things we are going to see okay so this uh, ci cd pipeline is part of uh, github so you need to have a github account for uh, you know having the making use of github actions right so if you are using jenkins you know uh, you will write your own jenkins pipeline you'll also use gitlab ci in your gitlab pipeline right Similar to that, if you have a GitHub, you know, a repository, you can ha use uh, GitHub Actions. So what you do, like, you know, as part of GitHub Actions, like you create workflows that build uh, and test every pull request or, you know, to your repository or a merge request or, you know, to deploy your a merge pull request to production. So the different kind of events can trigger this, you know, GitHub Actions, you know, workflow so we will talk about all these events and how you can create the workflow and all those things but you know as a general concept you know any changes or any pull request or merge request into your uh, git repository can trigger you know this uh, cicd pipeline okay and you know uh, for running the you know, pipeline uh, you also need a runner right similar to gitlab ci we have shown like you need to have runner on which all these actions will be running right all this workflow or jobs will be running so uh, how uh, we do that in, in GitHub, you know, GitHub itself provides uh, Linux, Windows, or Mac, Mac OS virtual machines to run your workflows, okay? Or you can also have your own uh, self-hosted runners, uh, like in our own data center or on, or on your own machine or your know, cloud infrastructure, which can you can also attach to your uh, uh, GitHub so that you know you can use that runner as well. So every job, you know, when we run, uh, you know, uh, in in the workflow, there will be different jobs. So as you see in the screenshot, like there will be an event which will start the you know, uh, workflow, uh, like you know a push event or merge event or pull request. So and each uh, you know there will be different jobs also inside your uh, you know, GitHub workflow which will define right. So these jobs will be running on uh, runners. So each job will be running on uh, one runner and each job will have different kind of steps or actions and script uh, which will be configured in our uh, YAML file. So that's how it will be done as part of GitHub Actions. So now let's get in depth. Okay, so to get started, you know, I also would like to discuss about each components, right? Like, you know, as I mentioned in GitHub Action has different uh, components like workflows, events, job, you know actions uh, and runners right so all these things we have to understand so that you can uh, make use of that as part of your github action okay now let's talk about github uh, workflow so this is the main concept of github action uh, action like you know a workflow 
So you need to create a workflow. So a workflow is a configurable automated process that will run one or more job. Okay. So uh, we have to configure our workflow that will have one or more jobs which will be you know uh, triggered you know which will be a yaml format so this workflow is defined in part of a, in format of a yaml and you know this will be checked in our git repository so and you know what happens is when uh, there will be a trigger by an event in your repository they, they can be triggered or it can be triggered manually or defined as per our schedule so this is the workflow which we configure as part of our yaml we will be writing all our events uh, you know the jobs and everything as part of the workflow which will be triggered or which will be the uh, pipeline uh, things which will be getting started so you uh, know what happens when we create this workflow we need to store those workflow under dot github workflows directory okay so then only those yamls will be considered as a workflow for github action if you put some yaml uh, files outside dot github workflow that will not be considered as part of uh, the github actions workflow okay so and this uh, repository ha can have multiple workflows so it's not like you know you can have only one one workflow so you can create multiple yaml files and each workflow can have multiple events and multiple uh, steps or actions jobs and everything which can perform different set of tasks i will show you all those things in github directly so but i just want to have an explanation first so you can see you know one of uh, a sample which i want to show you like you know this is a actions tab right in github repository you'll have action tab and there you will be able to see your uh, workflows whether it's the workflow is uh, you know successful or is failed and all those things so uh, i will i will show you like in github you know all these things before you know uh, we get into in depth so you can have a practical demo uh, how these the workflows and the yaml files will look like now uh, another one of the you know key components of uh, github actions is event right so an event is a specific activity in a repository that triggers a workflow right so inside the workflow in the yaml uh, format we have to define events so uh, for example an activity can originate from github you, you know when someone create a pull request or open an issues or push a commit to a repository right these are events like when a push happens or there is an issue created or there is a pull request so based on these events you can trigger your workflow so that has to be defined in your yaml format for example if you see this is one sample part of uh, you know the workflow yaml file where you know i have defined like on push and the branches right so when there is a push event happens to the master branch this uh, you know workflow will be running okay so this is the event uh, as we defined as part of our uh, you know, github action now there is another concept called job right so when these uh, events are uh, initiated it has run a set of task or set of step and in a workflow that execute on the runner so for example each job will be running on one runner okay so that job will have multiple steps so that jobs will be defined again as part of our yaml file and each step is either a shell script that will be executed or it can be an action that will run okay so in our job we can have multiple step multiple actions those those things we can define it and it's like similar to a CI/CD pipeline we do it as part of gitlab or jenkins or other you know as continuing integration and uh, deployment tools right so in a way like it's github action is from github itself directly so we can make use of that for our cicd so what we do is you can configure the jobs dependency with other jobs uh, by default jobs have no dependency and it can run in parallel with each other okay so you, you know it's not like you know a, a, a one job has to be completed to run the other job it can be running parallelly but you can also uh, create a dependency like when uh, one job takes a dependency on another job it will wait for the dependent job to complete like you know a uh, pipeline you know where you have one job uh, dependent on the you know, predecessor or successor job then it, you know, it will be like you know, one job has to be completed then the output will be taken into the next job right so that also can be done so uh, for example this is another you know uh, example i just want to show like if you see on the uh, steps right you know there is set up the job check out the repository log into docker so these are you know the steps as part of the job so which you have all running in a parallel or serial way so when there is a dependency it will be running after completing one of the job right so let's um, this is part of uh, you know um, the steps inside a job so you know once the job is uh, having dependency on another job it can run parallelly or it can be a serial one as well okay 
So, so we'll again I, as I mentioned I will sh share my github repository link also into the video description where you can see all these details okay now another uh, things like you know in uh, github there is uh, another concept is called action so the an action is a custom application for github okay so, and that performs a complex but frequently repeated task so action is more like you know a repetitive uh, task so you can reduce the amount of repetitive code by writing your own workflow files okay so you can create your own action or it can be you know a standard uh, actions uh, from a github marketplace so uh, you can find the actions you know in uh, the github uh, uh, documentation so from there you can uh, use those action uh, you know into your workflow so that you know it can call those activities so you don't have to write the whole code and or, or you know you can create your own you know um, actions which can be used as well another important topic of github uh, actions is like github uh, actions runner right similar to gitlab ci where we used to run our jobs in a runner so github uh, runner actions runner you know is a server that you run your workflow when you trigger it, right so you know when you when the workflow you know when a job has to be running like there are some step of uh, set of activities right or set of steps like running a shell script or uh, uh, running a docker command those has to be run on some kind of servers right so that is the runner so each runner can run a single job at a time so, okay so it cannot run two job at a time so it will run only one job and github provides like ubuntu line uh, you know like send os or microsoft windows or mac os you know uh, runners to run your workflow so each workflow uh, uh, runs or execute in a fresh uh, newly provisioned virtual machine so when the job is running it will create a new uh, virtual machines and those uh, job will be running okay so once the job is completed yeah it should uh, destroy that runner okay so if you need a different operating system or require a specific hardware configuration you can host your own runner as well so for example we can also host our own uh, self-hosted runner for attaching to github okay so uh, like you know if you go to your uh, settings and you should be able to see the actions and you can create you know uh, you know self-hosted runner as well so you, you know which i'll show you in the later videos like uh, you can set up your self-hosted runner as well now this is a uh, you know example like we want to talk about uh, cicd example right so let me show you you know uh, one, one of my github repository and i will show you like what we discussed about you know different configurations and i will also show you some of uh, an example of uh, github action cicd pipeline okay so let's get started there so this is my uh, github repository i will link this into the video description so you can also make use of my uh, this app which is a public app okay so this is a node uh, app for testing which i also used for different other tutorials where you can see i have deployment file docker files and different kind of uh, uh, configurations but actually for this tutorial we you know we don't need those uh, kind of things but uh, uh, what i want to show you is like you know when you know in your github repository you will see a tab called actions right so that is where we are talking about github actions okay and when you go to github actions you can create your own uh, workflows okay you can create new workflow uh, most of the cases uh, it will automatically pick up like if you have a docker file or something it will automatically show you like do you want to create a workflow for uh, docker images or pushing to you know different uh, uh, containers or you know it can be uh, aws or you know azure connection so different kind of workflow it can automatically show otherwise you know you can create a new workflow by yourself itself by clicking on new workflow so you can see it will give you suggestions like you know publishing uh, the node package to github packages right grand web pack so that is what i said it will uh, show you based on the content of github repository itself or you can create your own itself okay now once you create a you know um, uh, you know workflow what happened it will create a folder called dot github and workflows and it will create a file called main.yaml you can also change it to different uh, naming but you know uh, basically to, to automatically create like a main.yaml okay there you can write down your uh, workflow so i will not talk about this code now because this will be part of upcoming uh, tutorial where i want to show you like how we can uh, build a docker image and uh, you know push it to your docker hub uh, so that will be an overall tutorial there okay now if i go back to the action now you can see uh, i have created the workflow right so that workflow will show up uh, over here so my main.yaml had some issues so i have uh, updated it so that's why it uh, shows update main.yaml and it's using the master branch right so and you know you can uh, see that this has completed or uh, successfully run 
so if i go to that it will show me like you know the job so uh, the job name is like a push docker image to docker hub right so this you know job i will uh, show you to you know in the next tutorial how we can write this uh, overall full workflow like what all the uh, syntax we use what all the commands we use all those things will be part of next tutorial now if you see you know uh, if i go to the job you can see that it, it will give you the complete details of what are the steps i have right right so each steps will run on you know this overall job will be running on a runner you can see the runner is like version 2 dot i know uh, 301 dot 1 and the operating system right it's an ubuntu operating system and you know so all, all steps and you know if something is failed all those information you will see it here right so it's checking out the github repository right and uh, logging into the docker hub so all those things you know it will uh, show up as a step and it will also show you whether it's completed or not right so that is the overall process like similar to our ci cd pipeline uh, this is the uh, pipeline for uh, github so we can use github action for uh, deploying your applications or overall uh, you know process like you know integrating with different application or creating docker images pushing to docker hub integrating with the kubernetes or deploying to different uh, cloud environments so all those things you can do it from here itself so if you are using github you know it's easy you can do it from here as well you don't need to integrate with jenkins or gitlab or different kind of ci cd tool itself so that is what i wanted to show you like as part of github actions you can uh, create your own ci cd pipeline and now in the next tutorial we will see how we can write our own uh, you know overall workflow like what are the syntaxes which we talk about how you can define your event how we can create your actions how we can you know write your shell script how we can uh, create uh, environment variables or you know secrets and all those things we will see in the upcoming tutorial so i hope you, you know this tutorial is informative for you so have a look on this complete uh, github uh, you know, tutorial uh, you know, github actions tutorial where we'll be having different uh, tut upcoming videos coming up so but in currently you know I, what i want to ask you is like you know if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button and also like my videos share and uh, give your feedback in the comment section so that will be really helpful and uh, you know any uh, queries or anything you can post it in the comment i will reply you as soon as possible as well okay so thank you for watching